We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmela destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mela is money, and you'll always be trash. It's Red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go di -bi. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Red's cashing in. We're going to have a Raw Women's Championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. After what happened last night with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not her. No, Carmella was absolutely blindsided. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now, let's see if she can win the match. Otherwise, this is all just one big waste of time. Nasty impact. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's always been a woman capable of great bursts of activity. Oh! Again! Gals, Carmella may be in a bad way here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Uh-oh. High-angle belly-of-back suplex. Well measured. Here we go, Byron. Samoan drop. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Up and... Oh, look at it. If you remember, guys, Carmella's introduction to the main roster came in 2016 when she was the final pick in the WWE brand extension draft. Into a head scissor takedown! Carmella just barely got out of the way. Up and around. Smackdown Women's Champion. Talk about a meteoric rise. Scoop 
Boot slam. So much on the line here tonight. Pride, respect, glory, and of course the coveted championship. A lot of damage taken on by Carmella. I'm not sure how this will pan out. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Looks like she's tapped into some unseen energy source. Wow. Absolutely spiked DDT. sights. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Super kick. Good night. For the win to retain the championship. Two, three. Carmella is overjoyed to remain champion. We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmella destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mella is money, and you'll always be trash. Accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go DI by. I'm not going anywhere because it's not the briefcase that matters, it's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Red's cashing in. We're going to have a Raw Women's Championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat.
That could certainly happen. But throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. After what happened last night with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not her. Oh, Carmella was absolutely blindsided. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now, let's see if she can win the match. Otherwise, this is all just one big waste of time. And she's getting fired up here. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Kick to the cut. Boom! DDT. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Agility. Oh, stomping away. Oh, again! Carmella may be in a bad way here. She can withstand the punishment, though. And she's back in the ring now. Oh, spiked with a Frankensteiner. The quickness. German suplex connected on that. What have we got here? <laughs> I might have just shattered their face. Drops. That was nasty. So precise. <laughs> oh, what impact. The champ not in a great place. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow, Carmella somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. Did you see that? Standing move for the championship. Incredible. She seems to have gained. Here's the pin. Title on the line. One, well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Oh, guys, there's the mat slam. With some attitude. She's got her. Ooh, what impact. Standing moonsault.
successfully cashed in her replacement Money in the Bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the Money in the Bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper. It's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. 